All right, let's talk about how ADHD affects your vision. Well, there's actually a high correlation between attention deficit hyperactivity disorder and specific visual syndromes that we see in the eyes. Okay, let's talk about the first one, convergence insufficiency. So if you have kids that are having trouble to sustain their attention, when they're sustaining, let's say they're reading a book, what do their eyes have to do? Well, their eyes have to come together to focus exactly on the word that they're looking at. And then they have to move their eyes in sync from word to word across the page. That skill is very difficult for them. So convergence insufficiency is that their vision system and the muscles in their eyes can't even sustain the correct posture. And what happens is when that posture breaks down, they'll start to get these interference like double vision, blurry vision, their eyes will hurt or they'll get headaches or their words seem to swim on the page. If that's happening, that exacerbates their attention deficit disorder because now it's looking funny on the page. So if you can help to fix these vision skills, it helps them to be able to concentrate better because suddenly the words are more still and they're not doing funny things or playing tricks on their eyes. Second thing that we typically see is we see ocular motor dysfunction. Ocular motor dysfunction is meaning that the eyes aren't moving in the proper way. There's two types of ocular motor dysfunction. One is a deficiency of pursuits, that's like smooth eye movements. And secondly is a deficiency of saccades, that's rapid eye movements. So pursuits would be like being able to catch a ball, like a baseball when it's going across the sky. And if you have ADHD, just imagine if you cannot pay attention to focus well on the ball, as it's moving, your eyes may be bouncing around, you're gonna miss the catch. Secondly, we talk about deficiency of saccades. This affects reading the most. So when you have a child that has deficient saccades, they may skip words when they read, they'll skip over small words, they may skip lines completely and may need to use their finger to help them track to keep their place. Lastly, a lot of things that we see concurrent with children with ADHD and their vision skills is visual processing issues. So visual processing is like your problem solving skills. Like when I look at something, how does my brain understand it or solve this issue? Um, some examples would be like doing a Where's Waldo, right? Can you search amongst the background and find what you're looking for? This is very difficult with children with ADHD, as you can imagine, because it's hard for them to sift through all the clutter to be able to solve what they're trying to solve. So these are three issues that we see common in their vision that are concurrent with children with ADHD. The good news, however, is that it can be fixed. And so when you start to give them the right support in these areas, they will be very successful.